Hello everybody, Awesome Wizard here today. I'm here with another episode. I know it's been so long, I'm sorry. It, the reason why it's been so long is because I am making the website. It's not fully published yet, but it's going to be about me and other things that I do about my channel. Um, but yeah, I just want to say that real quickly. Um, not only that, as you guys know, um, I'm a big, huge fan just about uh, Finance Freddy's and Beyblade and other stuff like that. Like skateboarding, soccer, part four, and all the, those kind of things. And um, I just wanted to tell you some of my thoughts on Five Nights at Freddy's. And this is one of my theories, which I know almost everything, or pretty much I do know everything about it. I've been studying. There might be some stuff I don't know yet. But what I want to say is that when they said, um, I had this theory for a long time, way long ago. And um, I just wanted to say real quickly. That when it said the final chapter when they made Finance Freddy's 4, I instantly knew it's not going to be the last one. Because if you pay attention to Finance Freddy's 3, Sister Location was literally announced in that game. If you listen to it, it says, um, I'm pretty sure it was night 3. I'm not going to show pictures or little clips or anything like that because, as you know, I'm a terrible editor. <laughs> well, good, but bad. I'm good with editing pictures, but like videos, I cannot edit. <laughs> um... What I wanted to say, though, at the same time, is how I knew that was because I'm pretty sure it was night three. He says um, all the rooms are, uh, they have been, they're only employees only. And it almost all of those may only be employees because of the last place, the, because of the sister location. That's literally what it says. It says something about the sister location. It says this, 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 and the sister location. So, and something like that, and as you guys know, I know who caused the bite of 87, it, and it was, everyone should know it by now, because if you pay attention to Finance of Freddy's 4, there's a mini game where you see the bite of 87 happen, right in front of your eyes, your brother or with his friends or something like that, it throws you in Fredbear's mouth, which means Fredbear caused the bite of 87, and, um, again, I'm not going to be showing any clips, because I don't know how, <laughs> I'm a total idiot, but, yeah, um, again, that's literally how it is, and ever since, I've been just theorying and theorying and theorying, in fact, that I know so much about it, you can literally comment down below what you want to know, and I'll tell you if I know it, and I'll tell you every single thing about it, I'll make a whole video about you suggesting that, um, and yeah, I can't believe I even like Finance Freddy's anymore, I don't know exactly if Sister Location is going to be the last Finance Freddy's. That's one thing I don't know, since it's just a new series of the game. Oh, sorry if my camera shakes. I'm literally shaking the table. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's my thought and everything. Hopefully, I don't run out of space because there's a stop recording button. So if you don't see my outro, then you know why. But I might have space. I probably do. And all that. I just want to say, um, what am I doing? Why am I talking like this with my teeth like closed together? <laughs> anyway, um, what I've been doing was theoring and theoring and theoring until I got to this one point where I ended up thinking, wait a second, if the sister location game was me was mentioned in the third game, then how come he put the last? Why did he put the last chapter in Finance Freddy's 4 if he knew it wasn't going to be the last chapter? Why would he do that? That's my question. And everything goes along with that. Second of all, what if um, Phantom Freddy from Finance Freddy's 3 is... What if that was not the original Freddy at all from the other games? Since it was mentioned in the uh, third game, since the location was... What if that was Funtime Freddy and Foxy, the way he's made? What if that was Funtime Foxy? Same thing with... Ch Wait. I just realized something. I don't think Chica's in the um, new game, uh, Sister Location. Um, yeah, I just realized that. Hmm. Actually, a lot of characters aren't mentioned in the new Sister Location game. Marionette, um... Well, I'm saying the crying children are not even the it's me. Um, the it's me the, uh, scene that you can see in some of the Finance Freddy's. That's not mentioned in the Finance at Freddy's. Is the location 
Um, in fact, it was mentioned in the sister, or not sister location, of Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 game. So we're going way back from this, to the start of it, to the start of Final Fantasy Freddy's. This is incredible how much we have never known in the old games. We, I just realized it too, just now. And that's what made me think about this video. Well, in the second, well, I never actually just realized this, but in the second game, um, the you, when you have the hallucination where you look side to side as through the Freddy mask with the marionette following you, with Bonnie on this side and Chica on the other side, and then they open the mouse and stuff like that. I noticed since that's that's in the second game, and in the second game, that background is from the first game. Second. Uh, Second of all, sorry, I spoke out. Second of all, the marionette wasn't mentioned in the first game. So why would you background? Why would you make the background the first game when the marionette wasn't mentioned in the first game? Or was he? Is the question. So going on to Financial Freddy's three again, Springtrap. In case you haven't known it, it's all the different animatronics. Like it's Chica's color with Bonnie's head. Freddy's kind of like act and Foxy's speed, how he jumps and stuff like that, and how um actually no he can't do that, but yeah see that's why and that's why probably the box of the the box with the animatronic parts in the third game and that's probably why um that's probably the pieces that he never formed into so that's why if you see the mango part in there that's why when you see the mango part in the box if you don't believe me that there's a mango part you can go ahead and play the game if you want it's on phone um and the laptop so anything like that pc and you, what you do is notice if they were to have mango's part he probably would have been climbing wall to wall or something like that how uh mango did in the second game because th notice this is like the third game this is based off of the second because it's just a third and now it sounds like a lot but really it isn't um what happens during it is the thing it's all adds up the, the first game so I, what i would also like about the game is how the first game and the second game they add up to each other they make sense when they're combined together but it's so different at the same exact time so they're the same but different and what i mean by that is how in the second game, you see Chica and Bonnie in the background, how it's the first, it's the first game map, like I said. When at the same time, the controls are different because the other one, there's two doors, lights, and that's pretty much it. That's what you have to stick with. A camera, too. So there's one bar. But in Final Fantasy II, it's different because there's no doors and no lights. There's just one bar right here, which is the one where you put on your mask, and then the one on this side. Well, from your camera, it's different, but... On this side is the one that you put up the camera. And not only that, in the first game, there was no music box. In the second game, you have to keep the music box wound up. And then it changes again in the third game from the second. Because in the third game, you don't get a mask either. But at the same time, you don't get doors. No lights. All you get is a camera and a reboot system. I can't say it for some reason. And yeah, it's just all adds up. And then it goes to the fourth game. Because as you, if you pay a lot of attention to the third game, if you get the um, the good ending when it burns down, it says some of the stuff was scavenged and um, will be sold. So that's why the people, since it said it would be sold, since it was all burned, that's what, what Final Freddy's for is. It got in the house because that, they're the people, the owners who bought the um, stuff. They bought the other animatronics. They scavenged it and bought it, which means everything. That's what leads up to the night four. That's why I have to pay attention, and it'll all lead up all to one, which means. But in the again, fourth game makes it different compared to the third, because in the third game you have to play audio systems and map toggle and sealed events and all that. Well, in the fourth game, you have to have you, have, you check this door and then you check this door and then you look. Around behind you in the bed, they have to look in the closet. They have to flash a light, and make sure they don't get inside of your room. It's way different, but the same, because it adds up. And then there's just a the location, which doesn't add up. That's the one thing that doesn't add up, but at the same time it does. 
It doesn't add up to, from night four, though. Or the fourth game. It doesn't add up to the fourth game, but adds up to the third instead. So, yeah, it's so mind-blowing how this little discussion, people could be arguing with me in the comments saying, all oh, this isn't true. But I know it might not be true. It's a theory, guys. Calm down. So, again, that is exactly why they do all this. In fact, I was just watching Markiplier play the third game. That's how I got all these ideas and stuff like that, these theories. And it's just crazy and mind-blowing. What my teacher says is crazy, but we can all have our own opinion. And no one could ever be right. Because it's all opinion. And it's just crazy. And unbelievable at the same time how in the fourth game, there's also, instead of there being like the mini games that you move down side to side, like in the third game, instead you only go side to side. And jump and stuff like that. Well, on phone, it's different. You just fall and all the other things. And second is a little cheat you can do in the third. No, wait. In the third game, it's the mini game is different because in the third game on computer, you move up and down side to side. But on phone, you're going to go side to side. But a little cheat you can do with the phone. Wait, sometimes it's quite confusing. But um. Uh, as, anyway, like I was saying, a little cheat you can do is once you get all the stuff, when there will be a door. Don't take that door. Turn around, and there will be a wall. It might look like you're not going to be able to do, go in it, or if you walk towards it, you'll just keep on running into a wall. But really, you'd go through it and fall down. So take that way. Don't take the door, and then you'll see your mind will be blown on how much stuff um, you'll find out about it. Second of all, there's a little cheat in the... Um, sister location game where you play as baby and you have to take the cupcakes and shoot them stuff like that well if you go back to this one place a uh, baby since you play as baby um you move forward or to the side actually because you want to go side to side when you're going to the side there will be a child this thing comes out of your stomach or i think so anyway how i remember it i know um, and it literally takes the child and goes right inside of her stomach and then the mini game ends and they're not called mini games; they're actually called death mini games because in each one, notice how in the second game too, how every single one, if one death happens, a jump scare will happen. That's why it's called a death mini game because in the game, if you get jump scared, then you die. And so, it's a death mini game because if someone dies, then a jump scare happens, which makes you die, which would be the death mini game. But yeah, that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed, please smack that video; it would be highly appreciated. If you didn't like the video, I'm taking a phrase from my friend. Uh, go subscribe to him at the same time. Um, Beyblade Unleashed Hyperwind. Uh, I'm going to take his little phrase. If you didn't like it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. And comment down in the comments what I should do to make the video better. And of course, stay a lizard. Peace.